to all members of the University of Nairobi community, receive my warmest greetings. I extend my sincere gratitude to all members of the University of Nairobi community for the commitment and sacrifices they continue to make every day to ensure that the University of Nairobi remains a beacon of hope for all Kenyans. We have come to the end of academic year 2022-2023, except for the Faculty of Health Sciences. And many of you have proceeded for recess and dispersed to different places to rest and to recharge as you prepare for the rigorous work that lies ahead of us. I encourage all those who take their I encourage all those who can take the annual leave to proceed and do so during this period, so that when we resume the academic year, you will be well rejuvenated for the service to the university. This is also time to clear all pending academic work, including marking of exams, so that we can begin the new academic year on a clean slate. I also expect the academic division and those involved in processing new admissions to expedite in issuing the admission letters to allow the new students to prepare to join us in the next academic year. The University of Nairobi is taking a new strategic direction towards becoming a viable, vibrant, and sustainable university. We are currently engaged in the development of our strategic plan 2023-2028. We are envisioning a vibrant university that is transforming society. The key priorities will include enhancing our research culture among staff and students and deliberately reaching out to industry to ensure that our research is addressing immediate problems. We want to build an innovation entrepreneurial culture innovation and entrepreneurial culture in the university. We want to create a pipeline for innovations and commercializations of knowledge in the university to address the problem of unemployment and to create wealth for our country. We will, in a structured way, engage the industry in the training of our graduates to equip them with the problem-solving skills and to make them active participants in generating knowledge that is relevant to the industry. We want to engage or to change our teaching and learning to be more student-centered, to encourage and empower learners to be critical thinkers, creative and innovative. In the new strategic direction, we have also prioritized digitalization of all our services and processes in order to enhance efficiency in service delivery. We shall also implement a responsive, people-centric framework, including an enhanced campus experience for our staff and students. In addition to all this, we have also chosen to have a renewed focus on changing the operation model to ensure organization, organizational sustainability. The university seeks to adopt sustainable development approaches in all its business operations processes and activities, cognizant of the changing environment. Ladies and gentlemen, as the primary university and the university of choice for most students and partners in East Africa and the region, we continue to excel in all fronts. Our researchers have continued to put us in the global map by engaging in impactful research and sharing their knowledge by publishing their work. The University of Nairobi has continued to occupy favorable positions in all global rankings because of our quality research. In a recent vice chancellors and presidents of the African Research Universities Alliance, Arua, and the Guild of European Research Intensive Universities, the GIL, the University of Nairobi was prominent in the majority of the 17 research clusters that were identified 
as bringing about most impact in addressing our common societal challenges. I am proud all our faculty that participated in this call. Today, I want to give special recognition to Dr. Lois Achiengo Banjo, who recently achieved a rare feat of being one of the few African women to publish in the new Igrad Journal of Medicine. Dr. Obanjo's publication is a product of clinical research, and the findings are significant to the treatment of HIV patients. I believe that many of our budding researchers will be inspired by her work and they also publish in such or similar high impact journals. There is high value in publishing in high impact journals. Our hard work has continued to bear fruits. Consequently, our researchers have been invited in several international conferences to share their findings. Our convening power has also increased as shown by the many international and the local organizations who hold their meetings here at the university. Recently, we hosted the 19th International Association for Study of Commons Biennial Conference on the theme, The Commons We Want at the University of Nairobi. The conference was a product of many collaborators. We look forward to more of such conferences in our state of the art facilities. Thank you and God bless you richly.